What is everybody is back again again and today we're back with another Doki Doki mod video. Yes, we have finished the Fallen Angel mod. That's only a demo, there'll be more to come when the update there no updates it. Now this is the Sayori shoots up a Doki Do uh, shoots up Doki Doki Literature Club? Yes, this is a weird mod, I can agree. Um, if you haven't watched any real other mods, what I would do is go back to my channel, go to the homepage, scroll down to playlists, and you'll see all my Doki Doki playlists. Right there, every Doki Doki playlist just put together. So you can watch Doki Doki by Doki Doki by Doki Doki. Now this is weird. Um, if you want to download this mod for yourself, second link in the description. So yeah, also if you just want to watch the last playlist, A Fallen Angel, there'll be a little icon up here. So let's get straight into this. Now, I have already shown my name because I realised it wasn't recording, so I, but I went back. So we are good. Okay. Sayori. Sayori. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. No, wait. Is this when we would... So is this the point? Is this like the day of the festival when we would normally go into Sayori's room and find a hang-in? Oh, God. Don't be... Is she there, like with a bloody like AK or something? Just like reload, making sure there's enough clips. Like putting some ammo in the clips. <laughs> we can grow up in our own house. I really see what a boyfriend would do, isn't it? In any case, he just feels right. Outside Sayori's room, I knock on the door. Sayori, wake up, dummy. There's no response. I really don't want to have to enter a room like this. Isn't it kind of a breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say... Oh my god, okay, thank god she's not here. Okay, that means she's left. Sayori isn't here. Maybe she woke up while I was on my way to visit her? Oh god, I'm so retarded. I can't believe I actually came to the house. She's old enough to look after herself, right? She's probably on her way to school now. I better hurry up. I can't have a club down on festival day. So yeah, this is the day of the festival when we normally see her hanging. Wait a second, is that a Marilyn Munson poster on the wall? Well, there's only one poster and that's... Bam, that looks like a cal that's a calendar. There's not even a poster. It's like she bit out of it. I never knows that. I would, really never thought I would never thought I'd say I really liked that kind of music. Oh well, I really have to go now. On my way, I decided to check my phone. Oh, that's weird. There's a message from Sayori. I must have missed it. Is that like saying, don't come to school today? It reads, you're right, idiot. Don't come to school tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean by that? So, uh, I was correct. Some kind of joke? I don't understand. I've got to ask her when I'm back at the club. Oh, okay. So, you got Yuri. Hey, Yuri. You're not dead. Natsuki's not dead. Sayori's not dead. Monica, eh. Okay, Sayori looks up sadder, you can tell. Okay, after spinning back to the school, back to school, I finally arrived at the club, exhausted. Thank God Sayori, Sayori's here. Phew. I need to worry less. Seems like everyone's already waiting for me. But still, we have enough time to prepare until the festival starts. So, whatever. Hey guys, I'm back. Welcome back, idiot. I'm so relieved you came. I don't think I'll be able to read my poem on stage without you being here, idiot. What took you so long, idiot? We, we were waiting for you. We need to prepare for the festival. Dummy. Oh, didn't Monica tell you so he wasn't here so I went looking for her? I think so you can look out for herself. I know, I know. I was just a bit worried. But there, she is unharmed. Hmm, so it looks at me in a weird way. She didn't say anything yet either. It looks like, kind of like she doesn't want to see me here. I better talk to her. Hey, Zoe, what took you so long this morning? Oh, I still have some preparations for the festival. Yeah, preparations like an AK. Forgot to do them yesterday. Sorry. That doesn't sound like the truth. Why would she lie to me? Hey guys, can I speak with Idiot alone for a moment? The others are confused for a moment. I mean, not even go to the other end of the class. Josie, even I'm a bit confused now. Something wrong, Sayori? Oh, Idiot, you big idiot. Hey! Hey, hang on. So you went, oh, Idiot, you're a big idiot. Oh, it is my name. You weren't supposed to be here today. I saw my way back here. I just didn't know what it was supposed to mean, you know. Oh, idiot. It's too late now. Today is the day. I'm so sorry, idiot. Okay, what the hell is she talking about? I don't like this. Like, at all. I better keep an eye on her. I don't want her to be harmed. Suddenly, Monica walks in our direction. No, she wants something. Sorry if I'm interrupting your chat, but we really need to get our preparations for a festival done. We can't make a literature club look bad, you know. I guess she's right. Maybe a festival helps her already feel better. A couple of days ago, she seemed really excited about reading a poem to the other students. So, always depression is a... Okay, so we do know. And today seems to be worse than normally. So, I think we should revise the poems now. So, did you bring your poem? Because the file you sent me on the flyer seemed to be the wrong one. 
I had to throw all our flies in the trash. Please be more careful next time. So, do you have it here? Sonny says he starts to step Monica in this really weird way. Sure, Monica. I'll never get to be my poem on festival day. I don't want to disappoint. Yeah, say it completely lacks any emotion. I, I, what's going on? Just let me get my poem out of my bag. No, say you don't. Of course, but hurry up. We still have a lot to. Monica doesn't even seem to realize that something's wrong with Sayori. What the hell? Or is she trying really hard to ignore it? Sayori, what do you think is wrong? Monica, do you feel something wrong with Sayori? She's gonna pull out a, ba a gun out of the bag. But you know Sayori, she also has problems with a little rain cloud inside her head. I'm sure, it's not. Oh, what the? Excuse Monica's life, his body sinks to the floor. Her face being completely destroyed by the shotgun blast. I'm covered in blood and brain matter. What the? Is this reality? Monica's song, is this reality? So what? She just pulled a shotgun, shot Monica in the back of, like, the head. I can't believe what just happened. Surely this must be a nightmare. Oh, by the way, shut up, phone. I'll wake up any second now. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> what is she wearing? Swat? <laughs> I mean... No, no, no. Her, her, why would she? So he's holding a sword off shotgun, smoking out of a bowl. So like that was a pose she got out of a bag. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And what the hell is she wearing? Is that an edgy wannabe Cumberland shooter? Sorry to disturb you, idiot. You shouldn't have come today. I warned you, you know. Is she going to shoot us? She won't shoot us. Sorry, Sayori, I didn't know. Shush, it's too late for apologies. Sayori. You shot Monica. Still can't believe what I'm seeing right now. Well, yeah, obviously. Today is judgment day. Life is worthless. Existence is meaningless. I told you how I really felt about life. About my depression. Somehow your confession did not help. It only made the pain worse. I hate this world. The whole life is just a cold bit of hatred. In fact, I was close to just hanging myself quietly in my bedroom. When I got a better idea. Shooting up the school? Why not visit a therapist like a normal person? My girl- Okay, we are her girl. We we are her boyfriend then. My girlfriend's a genocidal psychopath. Sayori, Monica was one of your friends. She didn't do anything to you. Please stop this before more people get hurt. She was not an innocent as you think. She was sabotaging me. Made jokes about my suicidal thoughts. God knows how she knew about that. She told me that if I killed myself, everyone would be happier. <laughs> Did Monica really do that? Ethnic whore. Human scum. I can hear the steps. So, so he stomps the remainder of Monica's head and like it's just a bloody pile. I'm unable to say a word. Actually, I still want to die, but I'm going to die violently. This is a time of vengeance and no life is worth saving. I'll put in the grave as many as I can. It's time for me to kill. And it's time for me to die. Oof. And all that edge hurts. I knew I should have dated Natsuki and said, YES! Natsuki equals best girl. I looked at Natsuki and you at the other end of the room. They don't seem to be less shocked than I am. Well, Natsuki is extremely strong. Yuri has a knife. Got his team. In fact, they're both screaming in terror. Okay, but yeah, they're in shock. <laughs> it's funny, really. Everyone would have thought that Yuri's one of the school shooting thoughts. Yeah, it actually is true. No friends collecting knives and cutting. But apparently that's just a cliche. I bet nobody suspected Sayori to be the killer. She was popular and actually happy most of the time. So, who wants to be next? So he turns to the Nazi and you know, he pointed a gun at him. No, the one girl to be ever. Alright. Yuri's cutting himself anyway. You should shoot her. Oh no, emos want to die, right? What? what? That's totally not true. Everyone knows Yuri cuts herself. But I'm not going to say anything. And I'm not an emo. You're just some brat who still thinks manga's cool. Hey, even I still read manga. But at least for Okay. Why don't you just go up and stop annoying everyone, Natsuki? Oh, so you think self-harm is a better hobby than manga? Very interesting. Guys, what's wrong with you? Are you seriously arguing about a school shooter is threatening you? Shut up, idiot! This is none of your business. Okay, then. Anyways, Natsuki, I might have a self-harm problem, but at least I have parents that love me and care for me. Bazinga? Don't you dare talk about my dad like that. He has some problems with alcohol, so what? I know he still loves me. Your parents are probably the ones who love you, Yuri. You're always sitting alone in the library during school breaks. You have no life and no friends. Be honest, Natsuki. You are just talking trash about me because you have no self-confidence. 
You are jealous of me because I actually look like an adult. Well, you look like a nine-year-old child. Oh my god, you're being a savage. That's the reason why you don't have a boyfriend. Because no one wants to be a pedophile. <laughs> you, you don't have a boyfriend either. Heaven, hypocrite. I doubt you should have stayed in bed today. Stop! Can you just shut up? Do you really want to argue like that in front of a school shooter? I hate when you two argue. It makes my blood boil. Ah! So he now seems to be extremely angry at them. So he turns to Yuri. Oh god. So he looks while she unloads her rage at the moment now. Ah! <laughs> she just shot Yuri. Ah! Yep, now say you already shot Yuri too. Great. Not really. Well, Yuri was the worst Doki, but she didn't deserve this. Jesus Christ, Sayori, stop killing your friends. Sayori, are you insane? You won't get a birthday invite from me this year. Good luck, idiot, because I'm out of here. Gotta go fast. Dashes out the class door. So he tries to get Natsuki, but she's too fast for her. Also, Natsuki's small stat, uh, stat uh, like form seems to be very useful in this situation. So he missed every shot, and now Natsuki's already too far gone. Praise the Lord, I hope at least she comes out here alive. Poor Monica and Yuri. Hmm. Wait, did I miss something important? Oh, right. I'm still in the same room as a school shooter. Alone? Now it's only us again, idiot. Just like the old times when we were kids. <laughs> but I gotta do what I gotta do. It's your own fault that you don't listen to my warning. Sayori reloads a shotgun. Oh, come on, Sayori. Not only will we be childhood friends, but you're also my girlfriend. You can't do this. I'm afraid I can, idiot. Any last words? Okay, if I want to survive this, I think I, this I need to think fast. I just dragged her somehow. I think I got a plan. Yeah, I got some last words, Sayori. I, I love you. What? R really? Even after this? I don't know how to feel about this. No, lol. Your mum gave. <laughs> I take one of the chairs and throw it at Sayori. <laughs> did he wait? Did he really just say that? No, lol. Your mum gave. I took one of the chairs and throw it at Sayori. Pranked. I want to have a class as fast as my chubby legs allow. I need to get out of here while say you're still distracted. Idiot, stay here, please. Nice try. Thank God I play so much Sonic. I keep running down the school corridors past other classes. There are many people visiting the school today, since festival day. Everyone seems to have noticed there's a lot of shooting going on. People are running in all directions. I can hear lots of crying and screaming. So is gunshots behind me. Let me through you worthless worms. I need to get to that boy. <laughs> Out my leg. I'll never be able to walk again. You monster. I want to become a famous actor. Die, human scum. <laughs> Young lady, could you please keep your voice down? We have one exam in here. Also, no running in the hallways. Keep hearing lots of shots. I wonder how many kids she killed by now. Just keep running, idiot. I know you can do it. I will survive. I'll see the exit door. I'm almost outside the school. Yes. Suck my... <laughs> Sayori. Of course not, literally. Even that would be kind of nice. No! Say you're always evil now. I shouldn't have these thoughts about making love to my school shooter friend. Anyways, I'm at the door now. Finally, say she's right in front of me. Is the door locked? Idiot, stop running, please! I'm sorry, I won't hurt you. I promise. My shot was dangerously close. I open the door and leave the school building. Okay, custom artwork. Yay! I'm outside. Hooray! I can see police officers. I'm safe now. Mission accomplished. So suddenly I hear school doors behind me opening again. Oh no, it's Sayori. She really followed me off the way outside. But I'm sure the policeman will protect me, right? Finally. I got you now, idiot. No more running. You, you don't do enough sports to be able to run longer. Oh heck, she might be right. I should stop eating so much Doritos. Hey, police, help! She's a school shooter. So it realizes that she's surrounded by a police team. Her evil grin turns into pure fear. Drop a gun right now or we shoot. Do you hear me? Drop a gun. <laughs> FBI, open up. To my surprise, Sayori drops the gun. Is it over? What do you gotta say for yourself, criminal scun? Uh, it wasn't me. <laughs> but there's blood all over your clothes. I'm on my. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I think we have enough proof to arrest her. What? No, I'm innocent. I swear. Tell that to the judge. Bobby, tell her her rights. We have a right to remain silent. Anything you can you say can and will be used against you in court of law. You have a right to an attorney, but you cannot, if you cannot afford one, you will be appointed by you by the court. They still say you're into their SWAT van. I'll be back, idiot. This is not over. Actually, I think it is, Sayori. And I'm breaking up with you. Bye-bye. Police officers enter the vehicle and the van starts to drive away. No! The nightmare's over. My best friend shot up the school and won't see the live day ever again. Most of my friends are dead. But I, the great idiot, I'm still alive. yippee ki -yay! I hear sets coming from behind me. It's Natsuki. Natsuki, you made our alive too. 
Of course, I would let myself get killed in a school shooting like that, dumbass Yuri. Actually, I'm the one who called the police. I'm fast as boy. Really, it was you? Nasuki, you saved my life. I know, I know, I'm amazing. No need to tell me that again. Nasuki, I knew I should have chosen your route from the start. Chosen my what? Oh, right. Never mind, you know, I've always had feelings for you, Natsuki. R really? Oh, I mean, is that so, idiot? Yeah. But I stuck around with Sayori because I thought she needed me. But I guess I won't ever be a problem again. Oh, idiot, actually, I always thought you were kind of cute, too. Hey! I let you survive a school shooting five minutes ago. Now I'm working on getting my... <laughs> school shootings are no excuse to be lazy. Natsuki, I just broke up with Sayori. Do you want to be my new girlfriend? Yes! Oh, idiot, let's be together forever. In fact, I'll have nothing more. Yay, we got with Natsuki best girl. And that's how my best friend showed up at school and how I got together with Natsuki. Situation seemed grim, but we got a happy ending after all. Me and Natsuki forgot about the literature club and school shoe in like two days after it happened. We married and had five lovely children. I couldn't afford a more happier timeline even if I tried. So thanks to Sayori, without your help, I wouldn't be happy and married with Natsuki now. To be continued? End. Oh my god. That was insane. Bloody hell, guys. That was... Uh that was insane. She just shot Monica in the face and trampled on her body. And then Natsuki and Yuri argue in front of a school shooter. And then just Natsuki pegs it, kegs it, pegs it down the corridor. Runs down the corridor out of the school. Then, oh my god. Oh, my, that, was a, that was funny. A weird, a weird mod, but bloody hilarious. So I'm um, going to do exit music next, what actually is a mod about Natsuki. So yes, we get to do a mod about best girl, best girl Natsuki. Okay, so if you like this video guys, smash that like button where it hurts, also smash the subscribe button too, if you're new here, and also turn on post notifications if you like, if you want to get notified when I upload. And I'll see all you amazing people in the next video, bye bye.